Morning guys, 114 subscribers. It's moving up and thanks for those that view, thanks to those that share and also give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it, let's get some more subscribers. Um, right, what am I doing today? Um, it's countdown actually till we go back to the UK. Um, so we're getting the, uh, the bungalow ready for when we go. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go down to our local bus station in Muang Pangu. Which is, Panga is a province, Mang Panga is the town, it's the city. They call it a city, it's more of a town. Uh, a big town, but um, yeah. I'm going to go down to the bus station, just show you where you can go from Panga um, and how much. So when you want to come to Thailand, huh? look at this. Awesome. Come to nice. Well, this is the new uh, bus terminal at Panga. Muang Panga, as I said. Panga is a province like Suratani. Muang Panga is a town, the city. This is the new bus station. And you can pretty much get a bus from everywhere here, as you can see. You come and I'll take you in through the main entrance. So, yeah, beautiful surroundings, beautiful settings. So we'll come and have a look in the new bus station. The old bus station uh, used to be in the middle of town and so obviously if you're staying in town it's easier to get to this is about taxi bike ride from the town is 50 baht to here As you can see guys, our panga from here to Bangkok is 571 baht. That's on a night bus, I believe. And it's got, um, and the VIP bus is 888 baht. But they go, here we go. Phuket, uh, Pattaya, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Koken, Ubon, Ratchatani, Ranong, Nikon Si Kamana, Hat Yai, Kolok, Sudatani, Kosamui, and I think what you'll get here is um, you'll get uh, a bus and boat ticket, like Samui obviously, you'll get a bus and boat ticket. So I know um, Lewis, he come down from Chiang Mai um, to here for roughly 500 baht from Chiang Mai to here. Took him about 24 hours on the bus. Um, but hey, Chiang Mai to, uh, to Panga, he's gotta be over what, 1,600, 1,700 kilometers? So all I can do is presume that that's the number of the buses. And then you come to the end of this side and you can walk around to the others. This is the other entrance here. Where there's a few little, it's quite untidy in there. I'll go in there and have a look in a minute. There is a hotel at the back of it. As you can see, it made me laugh actually. Because um, <clears throat> one of the gentlemen I follow, um, Kevin in Paradise, um, Kevin, I think he said it as you can see the other day, or someone said as you can see, I thought oh, at least I'm not the only one that says it. So yeah, here we go, this is the other side of the bus station. And here we go, got a lot more destinations here. There you go, so this is the waiting room, it's all air conditioned, very comfortable. We've got a little coffee shop over there. So you can get yourself some, some food or a coffee and chill out. So it's pretty good, is it not? It's all good stuff. Just a quick addition to it, guys, you can see here, it's 
the key end tool. Here's all the all the um, trips you can do. So you can get to the bus station and also you can organise some days out or a couple of days away. Um, if you don't have any transport, there are a couple of places in town I think rent bikes. I'll try and find out a little bit more about it for those of you who want to rent a bike. Here comes the buses, some of the big buses by the Phuket, Trang. They do look a little bit old but hey, as long as they're comfortable, as long as they get you there safely, that's really all that matters. So okay guys, again, see you in a minute.